previously on Abandoned and Forgotten Places. Let's see what's uh, behind door number one, Monty Hall. But look at what we've got here, a skip car. Fantastic. Now look at this, this is a very, very interesting configuration here. Never seen anything quite like that. I really want to peek up here real quick, if I can. All right, guys, Oof. that was rough climbing back out of there. Yeah, one step forward to two steps back. All right, that's so, we just came out from the portal, which is off to my left here. Now, as I turn around, this is another thing we saw on the drone. There's a, another carbide tin there, another one over there, and over here, uh, doesn't this look interesting? Look at this. Oh boy. No, we're not on a false floor. We definitely found ourselves another, another uh, portal. Look at the shelf here. Cool, with another, another door. Wow. So awesome. What could be behind this one? Well, we're gonna find out. Here we go. Now, is this gonna take us back over to our shaft? What do we have here? So. Let's look. No, nope. it's been blocked off. The, the miners laid those boards across it right there. I'm not seeing a drift going left or right. So once this was finished, this one was abandoned. And uh, let's look off this direction real quick. Any drift going back that Oh, I don't see one. Ladder going down though. Another thing to potentially explore. But this is not our skip shaft. Uh-uh, that's got to be further up this direction. Whew. Hard for me to catch my breath because I'm so excited. So, Peter... What does that say? P Peter, whoever enters, pet. Can you guys read that? What, is, what in the world does that say? Something whoever enters. Okay. <laughs> All right. Goes off that direction. Another one twists off to the left. We'll come back for that one. Let's keep going this way. One of these has to take us to that shaft. Ooh. Yeah, you know you got some weight on that bugger, huh? Whew. Down here. Hercules. 
Hercules powder. Okay, look at here. Wow, this is great. I'm so happy I get to show the, show this to you guys. Now you see what we have? See these stalls that are braced against the hanging wall and going right straight down into the dirt? Okay, well, below me is our stope. But see, they backfilled it. And that's why those those support stalls and boards are above our heads at the lower levels holding up all of this rock. So what I'm walking on here is waste rock, guys. That's all been, they filled, filled the stope back in. See, there's evidence of it right here. I haven't been able to point that out to you in the past, so that's a really, really good example right there. Oh, look at this off to the left. We've got ourselves a day box here. <sighs> yep, this would have been used for holding uh, blasting caps. And what does that say? Let's turn the lights down a little bit. Just right felt packing. Just right. Felt packing. Interesting. Yeah, in here, now, you could, this could be like a day box so that, the, that it was used to store a case or two or three of dynamite. But see, back in the 40s, there was uh, more regulatory with the explosives. So they had to keep the dynamite and the blasting caps separated. You never wanted to keep, you never keep those two things together. Look here. Another shelf. And down here we've got newspaper. It's fantastic. Well, if uh, you're the last mine explorer that was in here and you recognize, I just want to say I thank you so very much for doing what you did here, keeping this up on a board and protecting it. All right, we got ourselves a date, right there. Can you guys read that? Friday, September 20th, 1918. I'm gonna point the camera down and slowly scroll try to get my lights in just the right manner so that you can read some of that right there okay i'm going to move that board for a second this is just fantastic citizens cheer bulletin fight the bulletin British launch huge drive in Palestine. Americans new gain, Americans uh, new gain crush big gun raids. New gain in drive on Citadel. Huns shell hospital marked by Red Cross. Eight Americans killed. So we're in World War I here. In World War I, the Germans were referred to as the Huns. Well, that makes sense because the newspaper, World War I was what, 1917? Now we're looking at a 1918 newspaper? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Oh, super, super cool. All right, guys. Let me put the, we're gonna carefully, oops, carefully put that back down there. Set a few rocks on it so that it can't blow around. Put everything back the way we found it. 1918. Wow. All right. Turning around here. Turning around. Hey, Jeff Williams. Slim was in here. <laughs> and... We've got another one that cuts off to the left over here. 
All right, well, we'll explore it on the way back. Let's keep on going, guys. Aha, found our shaft. All right, here's our shaft. Over here, and I think this looks pretty safe to step out on. Sure does. Okay, here it is, guys. And there we are. Looking down that crazy angle and these really, really strange looking guides. There's those guide pulleys. Remember I pointed that one out to you? I said there was the one with all the grease. There's the guide pulleys and the guides for the skip. Now, let's look up here real quick. I think I can, uh, let's see. Can we see up and out? Oh yeah. And that's gonna be up there by that, by that uh, galvanized pipe we saw up on the hill. And we've got owl's nests in here, multiple owl's nests right there. Very cool. Okay, so we know where the shaft is. All right, turn it around. Let's keep going, guys. Here we have another ore pass. Now, remember when I climbed up that ladder and we looked up alongside the wood going straight up? All right, well, here's where it's coming up and out right there. And again, look how they backfilled the stope. So what we're walking on right now is, uh, well, at one time it would have been all open until it was filled with rock. Got a sign here, 250, stope number three. Got a ladder going up, 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 up into our next stope up there. Okay. All right. And another door. This mine just keeps getting better and better and better. All right. What's behind this one, fellers? So cool. I'm having just so much fun. No, not going to be stope four. It's going to be shoot number four. Shoot number four. All right, let's keep going. Lots of footprints on the ground here. And here's another pass. This is so that they can pass the ore down into the next level. Oh, okay. So remember when uh, we looked up and there was that ladder going up through that uh, uh, collared uh, manway? Well, here we are. We didn't even have to climb up to the top. Now we're just now we're looking straight down onto it. That's back down there where I said, yeah, can you believe the construction, how hard these guys worked? Okay, so, oh, I'm just, just going quick. Okay, off to my right. Once again, you see the stoles and they're all buried, the support stoles backfilled. Now up to my left, we got the same thing right above our heads. The same amount of material goes all the way up to the next level, but this is what's holding it. And that's why we're seeing all of this compression because it's holding back all that rock. Now, look at here, someone came in and took a sample. That's fresh. Wow, 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 wow. Now look at, I mean, look at the amount of, can you just imagine the weight? You know how much weight you gotta have on something to push one support stall into the other and crush it like that? Look at this one, look at this one. And look at our wall, our hanging wall off to the right. Now the problem with being underneath something like this, which is what I am 
right now. I'm in the danger zone. Look at the compression on that one. Let me show you what could potentially happen. When these decide to let go, they don't just let go in a small way. Oh no, oh no. It comes down fast and you get what we've got right going on right here. See, this drift kept on going and see what happened. Look at that, whole thing came down, boom. I guarantee you when that happened, it was no slow motion compression fall. It was one big whammo. And you ain't gonna run from it. Uh-uh. All right, let's get out of this. This is uh, really, 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 really bad right through here. Very dangerous. I'm just gonna take you with me. Just in case this mine decides to smush me like a bug, we'll get it all on camera. Okay, here we go, back through the door and close the door behind us. I can't get over that newspaper from 1918. So obviously they found that paper. This, uh, the original workings go back that far and probably, you know, off and on, they kept working this mine up, up through all the way up through the forties. Now, here's a can that someone set up there. You can see that label better. You guys, can you read that label? That's just like the one we found down below. I can't see it from here because I got to hold the camera above my head. Let me know down in the comment section. All right, there we go. All right, let's keep going. We just bypassed our shaft. And now here's the other drift going the other direction we haven't explored yet. <sighs> Look here, we have an, another sign. 250Z2. Once again, we're walking on top of backfill. Oh my gosh. Look at that. This one's getting ready to go. One, two, three. All right, guys, don't, just don't go now. Otherwise we'll be trapped up in here. Let's keep going. Two fifty shoot two. Yeah, if one of them if one of them came down, boy, that would be some must see TV, huh? All right, what do we have here? See? I feel there's a whole bunch of wind coming from right down out of that hole. This is the false floor. And here goes back to the drift. They broke through the wall. That goes right back to where we came from. So at least we know we've got an escape route. But what I'm standing on here is covered up false floor. Let's think really light thoughts, like helium thoughts as we walk over the top of it. Okay. We'll keep on going. All right. Shoot after shoot after shoot. And as I said earlier, we haven't even walked all the way up into the canyon yet. This is another collared manway. Look at that one. Oh, isn't that... Wow. So all of that was constructed long before they backfilled the stope. <sighs> Neat. Too, too cool. And behind me, this ladder is going to work its way up in there. It could be very similar to the other ladder I climbed up. And it looks like this is going to be the end. Sure is. Yep. All right. Turn it around. 
Okay, guys. I gotta go walk back underneath the death zone. It's... Well, I guess I could... Maybe I could avoid it and just go through that hole in the wall. We'll see. Let's go get a better look at things. I'm just gonna take you with me in case we see something we missed because oftentimes we do. Yeah, here's our hole in the wall. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go through the hole in the wall and avoid that compression. Okay. Now, I think that this is a drift we haven't explored yet. It goes up this direction and stops right there. The back filling process pinched it off. Look at all the blue in the rock, all the blue minerals from the copper. There's more right here. Look at that, isn't that pretty? Just beautiful, yeah. Okay, I got myself a little turned around here. That right there is gonna go deeper into the mine. We came from that direction. So the out is gonna be this direction where all the wind is coming from. Yeah, I learned that by watching Rambo. <laughs> okay, here's our exit. Well, okay, so um, that was just uh, fantastic. Just super duper cool. Let's go up and uh, look at here. Look, look at how much that board is wore out right here. The, the, this cross tie at the main door. A lot of guys stepped on that board to wear it down like that. All right, turn it around here. Let's close our door. And we'll leave things just as we found it. Okay, turn it around. Let's head back outside. Okay guys, well, I think it's time for a battery change out. So, yep, see, told you so. That's what I'm gonna do next. Take a break, take a drink of water, and uh, I'll be right back. Okay. Okay guys, I worked myself a little bit higher. Down there in the bottom, you can see old Bob off to the right is where the old uh, trestle and rail used to go. And then right below me here is where the portal is out of the mine we just came out of. Down here, outside, now that's dynamite storage right there. So indeed, so you're gonna have your dynamite outside, your blasting caps on the inside. Now on the drone footage, here's that galvanized tank we saw. And let's look here. It's empty. That's the bottom, nothing in there. Now, I made a shorts video for you guys. And uh, in that shorts video, we found another tank and it had a wooden surround, just like this one here. And in that shorts video, I explained to you that they make that surround and then fill in the voids with, with uh, hay. So it helps keep the water cool. Now, if you look down here in the crack, see that you can still see the hay or straw that they packed in between the uh, wood surround and the tank. Yep, keeps the water nice and cool in those hot, hot summer days. Now looking down here, they leveled off an area because at one time there was a hoist right there. You can see the studs on the ground and that hoist was to service that stope right here below us. Now, speaking of stopes, you guys have been listening to me geek out on how all of these have been backfilled. Now, remember when we were down in there and we had the wood over the top of our heads holding up all that material? Well, now we're standing right on top of it. And all of the material has fallen down into the stope and completely pinched it off. So not only, not only what the miners did, but Mother Nature too, 
And uh, little by little over the years, as this fills up, so much weight is gonna be on those support stalls, that's when they'll eventually collapse. Okay, I'm working my way over to the shaft. I'll see you over there. All right, guys, here I am over here by our shaft. Now, if you can remember in a past episode when it was my message to other mine explorers, I said in that video, I said, when you find a, a, a really good site, stop, slow down for a second, okay? You got a good one there. Take your time and go through it thoroughly, okay? Because these sites aren't gonna last forever. One day, we're not gonna be able to get into them anymore for many different reasons. So when you find one, a really, really good one, like what we've got right here, take your time and go through it methodically like, we're, like I'm doing today. Here's our shaft. This is the same shaft at those lower levels where we found that uh, skip car or that ore car, okay? So it's nice to know that when I come back here, I don't have to rope from the outside level, the top level. We can just start immediately uh, where the trap door was and just go down right there. But this is where it was. So you had your hoist house was over here. I'm gonna show you that in a second. The cables went up to the sheave wheel and down right through here and connected with that ore skip. Now, let me show you where the hoist house is, okay? Over here. Uh, let's see here, I need to go down this direction. Now you see that trestle over there that had what looks to me to be about 24 gauge rail? Well, that is a clue that tells us that um, we haven't even gotten into the major workings of this mine yet. We're just getting started. Oh, look at here. Turning around. Look what I found, right? There's an attic right here. Going down there. Sure is. Huh. So we got another one heading over to that stope. The same stope that we just got done exploring. Okay, hoist house. Golly, there's just so much around here. It's a plethora, a plethora of goodness. <laughs> I'm having fun, how about you guys? Heck yeah, it's a beautiful day. It's just the perfect temperature out here. What more could you ask for, right? Okay, here's our hoist house. And how do I know it is? Because I can look down and see the studs. Now, of course, the hoist is long gone. And looking off that direction. Oh, you know what? There was something over by that shaft I wanted to show you guys and I just completely forgot it. I'll meet you back over there. Okay, here we go. Now, looking, looking up, there's one of those catch bells right there. I believe that that's what it is. So as the skip came up, it would hit a bell, go dang, to alert the operator. I'm guessing that's what it was. But that wasn't what I really wanted to show you. What I wanted to show you was right here. Remember when I said, that this thing, it's full of owl's nests. Oh, there you go. There's your owl's nest. Could be an eagle's nest, could be. So if there's anybody that's watching this, uh, let me know down in the comment section. What do you think, eagle or owl? And there's more below it too, down in the neck, oh, uh, lower levels. Okay, that's what I wanted to show you guys. So now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna, head off this direction and see why the miners built that trestle and where does it go? Well, obviously, you can see the giant stope up on the hill that I threw the, flew the drone into. So, let's see if we can get into the portal uh, underneath it. I'll meet you over there. All right, there we are. Nope, it's not 24 gauge. 
It's about uh, 18 or 20 standard size. Now, when I found this on Google Earth, boy, I said to myself, oh, look at that. Just look at that. Yeah, so real quick, I wanna show you guys what this looks like on Google Earth. And that's why when you see it yourself, you're gonna say, yeah, uh-huh. We, we see why you went after that mind fly. All right, guys, take a look. Pretty cool, huh? Told you. That's why I just had to figure out a way to get out here. Okay, now, turning back and panning off this direction, the question is, where's our portal? It's gotta be somewhere right in here. Let's look off to the left first. Because this stope going this direction is, uh, where we just came from. <clears throat> we safely stand up here and yeah, so now you can see the vein tracking off back that direction towards old Bob. There's our rail, which has now completely been covered up because you know these top areas is all exposed. So thunderstorms, snowstorms, snow melt, all that has collapsed it. So we're not getting into we're not getting into that. Now look over here. Goes off that way too, into those big stopes up there. Now is that a portal right down there? Let's go find out. Oh boy. Look at here guys. <laughs> but the problem is, look at what is getting ready to fall on me. If I attempt it, oh yeah, yay! That whole thing, this giant rock, is being held up by just those twigs and that little tiny six-inch stall. Oh, but there it is. That's where we need to go, fellas. Oh man. Let's turn the lights on, look down there. Turn that one on. Do I have them on? Let's see. Okay, let's look. Yeah, there's our drift level. But that's the, here's our problem. See how it's been backfilled? Just one little tickle on that, that whole sucker's coming down. I don't know what to do, guys. I'll tell you what, why don't you give me a minute? I'm gonna look this over a little bit closer. I don't wanna get hurt here. I'll be right back. So, what I'm trying to do here is if I can bust that rock down, that'll be one less thing that can fall on my head. Got it. There we go. Got it. Okay. Now this, what I was doing was taking some of this material down to take some weight off of it, take some weight off that stull. Now you can see 
as I kick it, it's all fracturing and cracking, but, and this stuff here, I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna leave alone because it's staying in place. Now what I wanna do here, if I can break, Okay. See, the problem I'm seeing here, guys, can you, do you notice it too? You see the dust? If there, was an, if, if there was an opening up in there, this would all be like blasting out, but it's not. But at least I made, at least I made the opening a little bit safer. Now what I gotta do, is make sure that that dust, that this is so crumbly here, I gotta be real careful. Um, you know the game operation? Yeah, kind of like that. Okay, so the goal is, is just like the game operation. Let's turn our lights on here. To squeak down here without any of that coming down on us. Oh boy. We got it. We did it guys. All right, looking back. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty awful. All right. Turn it around. Let's get some light on the situation. I'm breathing a lot of dust. I don't like that. Let's see what's up in here. Oh yeah, as suspected, it's all coming down. It's all collapsed. That's why we had no airflow. Let's look up there. Yeah, it came down on them. It's destroyed. Can't go any further. Uh uh. Stops right there, guys. Yep. Well, oh my gosh. Look up above my head here. Look at that widow. Oh my gosh. Get out of here. Get me out of here. Danger, danger, Will Robinson, danger. Okay, we made it that far. Let's see if we can go the rest of the way. No, 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 no. Don't be falling on me. Made it. <sighs> okay guys, yep, I found something. Well, actually we found it earlier, so now we're gonna take a closer look at it. But let me orientate you first. We've got the shaft off to the right, the hoist house to the left, the uh, portal or collapsed uh, stope we just uh, came from right behind me and down here is that other adit we found. So, the rock here looks to be in pretty decent shape. I don't think this is gonna come down on me. Not looking that way. All right, stop here a second. As I was coming down there, I was worried about rattling.
rattlesnakes and situations like that. But look at that. Look at that. It's a big spider web there with all the egg sacs. Cool, huh? All right. Turning around. Now this heads back over the direction of the stope that was collapsed. So if we turn right, it should take us back that way. Let's see if it does. No, it just goes up here and stops and we end up running into a manway that's sitting right next to what used to be an ore pass that goes down to the level that we've already explored. That's what that is. So no sense in going down there. Now let's see if we got anything this direction. Well, that's interesting. Look at the wood there. That came from the mill with that printed on it. B E R. Is that C O B E R C B E R C I'm having a real hard time with that that first word. Here's the second word. If you guys can make it out V E R D I N E something can't quite make it out. All right, what goes off this direction? Oh, by the way, so you don't get confused as to where we're at. That's where I just came from. Now we're going left in that big stope. And as suspected, it's collapsed. Yeah, boom. All right, well, at least we looked at it. And I'm not seeing any artifacts down in here other than that, uh, that wording on that support right there. Okay. All right. I'm going to head back out here. I'll see you back guys back outside. <sighs> All right, guys, back to old Bob safe and sound. What a glorious mine that was. Can you believe that? That was just the angels sang today. Yep. Every now and then you knock it out of the park. Some days not so much, but other days like today, what a what a fantastic location. So let's recap. So this is um, one of the first times uh, that I've been able to show you guys what a backfilled stope looks like. Now, many of you have been watching uh, Canadian Frank's channel, Exploring Abandoned Mines, and you've been watching him work on his own mine as he clears out those areas of all of that muck. Well, those miners did the same thing. They backfilled those stopes too, just like what we saw today. But now fast forward all these years later, Frank is slowly peeling into that and cleaning it all out and emptying it out of the mine, re-exposing all those big stopes and shafts and ore passes. That's what you got going on there. The other thing that was really cool about this site is not only uh, its layout, that trestle, but the fact that we found that newspaper from 1918. Are you kidding me? And it was practically intact. And someone, bless their soul, took the time to lay it out on, on top of a shelf, put some weights on it, okay, so that other people, if they go in there and explore this, they too could be as surprised by it as I was. See, if you remove artifacts from mines, well, then that newspaper would have never been there, and I never would have been able to enjoy it, and I never would have been able to film it and pass it on to you guys. So um, for those of you who uh, do this activity and are equipped, okay, with all the proper equipment, knowledge, and training, um, please, when you find something like that in the mines, leave it be so that others can be surprised and enjoy it just as much as I did today. Okay, guys. Um, we're definitely coming back to this site. I've got to go down that shaft. We have to find out uh, what's all the way in, in the bottom, but we're going to save that for another day. So there's two things <clears throat> that I still want to explore here. We've got to do the main shaft with the ore skip. We've got to do that winds. 
uh, and see where that goes, where that ladder went down to that wooden walkway and out to that other drift. We have to do that too. Those are the two, two things I want to do. And then go backwards a few weeks. Remember when we uh, opened up the season and I got into that one mine uh, when we started the summer exploring season, I got into that one mine and we saw that ladder going down that, that other shaft. I want to go back and do that. So there's just all kinds of stuff to do in this area. I can't wait to jump on it. There's so much around here, guys, I want to show you. And each and every location is just over the top. Well, with that, guys, I'm going to get on out of here. I had an absolute blast today, and I hope you did too. So with that, I'll see you all again next Saturday. Okay, take care, everybody. Bye-bye.